Okay, good morning uh, brothers and sisters. And uh, we are happy that you are joining us with our lesson review this morning. This is uh, for September 30, 2017. Uh, before we start, we would like to greet uh, the co people from Conception Adventist Academy students. Hello, uh, especially Ma'am Marlinda Garbin. Uh, good morning po, Ma'am, the principal. And also all the small groups, ang mga name daw nila ay mga fruit of the Holy Spirit. And especially, the small group that is handling this Sabbath's program is the Love Small Group, uh, headed by uh, Brother Cedric Sid I, the a grade 11 student. So, our lesson this morning is about boasting on the cross. But before we start, let us first start with prayer. Our Father in Heaven, we ask that you forgive us from our sins. We ask that you uh, give us the Holy Spirit. Please give us wisdom and understanding so that we may understand the Bible and that the Bible might change us, Lord, to become more like you. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So our lesson this uh, week is about Galatians. Uh, this quarter... And this month is about Galatians, and we are almost ending Galatians. And our specific topic for this week, I boasting in the cross. Yan. So, uh, we will summarize, isa summarize ko po muna itong ating lesson. Uh, ang ating adult Bible study guide ay maganda. At dito ko binabase ang ating lesson. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, in kinikuha ko lahat ng Bible verses din sa Adult Bible Study Guide tapos pinaste ko dito sa ating presentation tapos babasahin natin lahat yun tapos maintindihan natin yung lesson at saka kung may time pa tayo mag uh, explain tayo tapos magkakaroon tayo ng question and answer na sasagutin ni Sister Leslie ni Ma'am Leslie dyan sa inyo and uh, Tingnan natin kung saan tayo gabayan ng Panginoon. So, ito po ang ating lesson, Boasting in the Cross. Kung magpapalaki man lang tayo sa ating buhay, ito ay dapat ang ginawa ni Jesus Christ sa atin. Hindi kung ano yung ating nagawa, kung ano yung ating na-contribute sa gawain, kundi yung ang, ang nagawa ni Jesus Christ sa atin. So, sa lunes, makikita natin in quick summary lang overview na sinulat ni Pablo yung Galatians ng kanyang sariling kamay. Tapos, sa next makikita natin, we will learn that what is Paul saying when he says we should not boast in the flesh. So, identify natin yung mali, yung pag-boast in the flesh. Tapos, identify natin kung ano yung tama, boasting in the cross. Tapos, meron din siyang binabanggit dito sa Galatians na a new creation. Titingnan din natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng a new creation. Ang Bible ay napakaganda. Pag meron tayong hindi naintindihan sa isang part, babasahin lang natin yung buong Bible. At yung ibang part ng Bible, may tulungan tayong maintindihan yung isang part ng Bible. So, yun, bali ang, tapos merong final remarks na actually, so summarize natin at i-connect pa natin sa ibang mga ideas. So, yun ang ating uh, summary ng lesson. Ang uh, memory verse natin, ay natatagpuan sa Galatians 6.14. And ito po ang babasahin ko para na ma-memorize natin. <laughs> but far be it from me to boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Galatians 6.14. So makikita natin dito mga kapatid. Huwag daw akong mag- Mamayabang kung di sa sakripisyo ni Jesus Christ by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. So wala daw tayong pagmayabang kung di si Jesus Christ na nag-sacrifice sa atin. Tingnan natin ang sunod na Bible verse. Uh, sabi dito, das, ganito kasi ako mag-aral ng Bibles uh, ng Sabbath School lesson. Uh, yung Bible study guide, guide yan papunta sa Bible. So, punta tayo sa Bible. ba? Kaya nga, adult Bible study guide, kaya dumiritso ako sa Bible. 
at na realize ko kasi minsan mahirap maintindihan yung ano yung stud para sa akin yung yung study, uh, study guide kasi matataas yung pinag-aralan yung nagsulat niyan kaya pag pero pag binasa ko lahat yung bible verse doon na nakalagay doon mga reference pag dinugsong-dugsong ko mas madaling maintindihan kasi nandoon lang naman sa bible at saka mas makapangyarihan yung bible ang sabi ni Ellen G. White one line of scripture is worth more than one ten thousand uh, human thoughts and ano yung mga invention ng human so isang line ng bible verse mas mahalaga pa yan sa lahat ng komentary ng mga ibang mga tao kaya didiretsyo na lang tayo sa bible total maikli ang ating panahon pag nabasa natin yung lahat yung bible verse then we will have time for LNG white quotations for as uh, other commentaries and other things so Direct sa tayo sa Jeremiah 9.23 The next verse, sabi dito Thus saith the Lord Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom Neither let the mighty man glory in his might Pareho Yung Bible, maganda yan kasi yung isang verse Ini-emphasize niya naman yung isang verse Ini-explain niya Huwag daw magmalaki yung matitinding mga tao In his glory Yung mayayaman, let not the rich man glory in his riches But let him that glorieth glory in this, ano daw? that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in this I delight, saith the Lord. So wag tayo magmayabang sa ating kayamanan, sa ating talento, sa ating katalinuhan, sa ating mga awards na nakuha, mga uh, kung ano-ano pa dyan, kundi na naintindihan natin ang Diyos. Na ang Diyos ay mapagmahal, fair, banal, at sa kalahat ng blessings ay galing sa Diyos. Yun ang pinakamahalaga. Okay. So yun ay galing sa Jeremiah 9.23 and 24. Huwag magmayabang, kundi ang ipagmayabang ay yung naintindihan natin ang Diyos. Tingnan natin ang lesson dito sa linggo. Alam niyo ba na ang isang part ng Galatians ay sinulat mismo ni Paul ng kanyang sariling kamay sabi sa Galatians 6.11-18 kasi ito yung focus ng ating lesson makita niyo dito basahin natin ang dere-derecho ye see how large how a large letter uh, how large a letter I have written unto you with my own hand malaking sulat siguro ini-emphasize niya masyado yung gusto niya ipakita As many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, yan yung sinasabi niya. Ano daw yung mga gustong magpakita ng kanilang tindi sa laman? They constrain you to be circumcised. Ah! Ang problema pala dito sa Galatians. Gusto nila, dahil sila ay circumcised, gusto nila yung mga Gentiles, mas circumcised din. Para mapagmamalaki nila, ah, nasabihan namin sila, therefore sumunod sila na circumcised. So yun ang pinagmamalaki nung mga Hudyo na gusto nilang mapasur- mapasunod sa kanila yung mga Gentiles na gustong maging Christians. Only test, uh, they constrain you to be circumcised. Only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law. Hindi naman nagpa-circumcise nga kasi yun ang pinapagawa kay Abraham. Eh hindi naman sumusunod. Eh wala rin kwenta. For neither, okay, but desire you to have circumcised that they may glory in your flesh. Gusto nilang ipagmalaki na napasunod nila, napasunod nila yung ibang mga tao. Kahit na hindi naman sila mismo sumusunod sa mga batas ng Diyos. But God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, sabi ni Paul, pero wag sana na ipagmalaki natin yan. Kung di na pinako si Jesus Christ sa cross at pati ang ating mga kasalanan pinako sa cross for in Christ and I unto the world for in Christ verse 15 neither circumcision availeth anything hindi tayo maligtas ng ating mga gawa kahit magpa-circumcise ka hindi tayo maliligtas niyan kung hindi naman tayo sumusunod nor an circumcision but a new creature dapat magbago tayo ng ating mga buhay and as many as walk according to this rule Peace be on them, and mercy upon the Israel of God. Okay, so 17, 
From henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Malalaman natin kung ano yan later. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, your spirit. Amen. So, yan yung dulo ng letter ni Paul sa Galatians. Kasi mayroon ng Amen. Tingnan natin itong sunod na verse. Romans 6.22 I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. Ibig sabihin, ang secretary yata ni Paul ay si Tertius. Pero itong isang part, sinulat mismo ni Paul. Sabi sa 1 Corinthians 6.21 The salutation of me, Paul, with my own hand. So, minsan sumusulat si Paul ng sarili niya ng Uh, yung minsan may sekretary siya most of the time pero minsan siya mismo ang sumusulat ng kanyang sulat para sa mga sa mga churches ngayon tingnan natin kung ano yung mas malalim pa yung sinasabing boasting in the flesh bilisan natin kasi kunti na ang time Galatians 6.12 and 13 as many as desire to make fair as you in the flesh they constrain you to be circumcised only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised, that they may glory in your flesh. Ngayon, tingnan natin sa Galatians 1.7. Which is not another, but there some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Iniiba nila. Alam niyo ba yung mga Pharisees? Sabi ni Jesus Christ, you are teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Yan. So, wag natin babaguhin yung gospel. They zealously affect you, but not well. Ye and the they would exclude you that ye might affect them. For you have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jewish religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. <laughs> alam niya, alam ni Pablo kung anong ginagawa nitong mga manggugulo na to. Kasi, siya rin mismo ang nagpipersecute sa church dati. Kaya, tingnan natin sa Acts 21, 20, 20 and uh, 21. And, When they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews are there which believe, and they are all zealous of the law. And they are informed of thee, and that thou teachest all the Jews which were among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither walk after their customs. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So, si Paul ay nagbago at marami siyang tinuruan at sabi niya, hindi na kailangan in-impression ng Holy Spirit na yung mga customs na inutos kay Moses for the Israelites ay hindi na kailangan katulad nung pagsisircumcise. Pero syempre, yung mga inutos ng Diyos na mga moral mo, hindi nagbabago. Pero yung katulad nitong mga uh, promise kay Abraham at kila Moses, Tapos, ang sabi dito, lahat na all who will live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. Kaya, uh, magandang maging kristyano, pero merong persecution. Ang persecution ay para mapatunayan na tayo ay pure. At para matanggal yung ating mga pagre-reklamo, reklamo. Ano naman yung boasting in the cross? So, ang sabi doon, huwag tayo magmamalaki sa ating mga nagawa, sa mga status, sa mga pera natin sa mga, kahit sa mga sacrifices natin, wala tayong may pagmamalaki. Tingnan natin, But God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. Galatians 6.14 For in Christ neither circumcision availeth nothing, nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. Sabi naman dito sa sa so ibig bang sabihin, hindi na tayo kailangan sumunod. Sabi naman sa Romans 6.1-6 Alam niyo ang Bible, Minsan, pag isang verse lang yung binasa natin, parang nakakalito. Parang, plus pag ibang verse na naman ang binasa natin, parang kabaliktaran. Pero ang Bible hindi nag-conflict. Ang conflict nasa isip lang natin. Kailangan, maintindihan natin yung buong uh, sinasabi. Parang dalawang kamay. Yung isa kanan, yung isa kalima. Magka-contra sila, di ba? Pero pag tinignan nyo yung buong katawan, hindi pala sila magka-contra. So, kailangan natin makita yung lahat ng picture. So, tingnan natin itong Romans 6, 1-6. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? 
Or do you not know that all of us were baptized unto Christ, were baptized unto His death? We're therefore buried with Him through baptism into death, in order that, as, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Kaya may baptism para a new life. <clears throat> For if we have been united with Him in, the, in a death like His, we will certainly also be united in Him in a resurrection like His. For we know that our old self was crucified with Him, so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with. And that should we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Okay. Ano ba ba ito kahaba? Okay. <clears throat> Romans 12, 1-8 Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. That is good that is good, pleasing and perfect will. For by the grace given I, given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, huwag tayong mayayabang, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. In according with your faith, God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body, many members, kaliwa kanan, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us, each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. Alam niyo ba, na lahat tayo prophet, kasi sabi natin tayo ay Adventist. Yung word palang na Adventist. It says that Jesus is coming soon, which is a prophecy, di ba? Pero wag tayo maging mayabang. Merong major prophet, merong minor prophet. Yung major prophet, maraming prophecy. Yung minor prophet, maging. Siguro tayo, uh, micro-prophet. Pero, wag lang tayo magsasabi ng mga bagay na hindi na sa Bible. Wag tayo mangaral ng mga bagay na hindi na sa Bible at saka hindi na affirm ng spirit of prophecy para hindi tayo maging false prophet. Kasi sa Old Testament, ang punishment ng false prophet ay kamatayan. Okay. Sabi sa Revelation 10, it was sweet to the mouth and bitter to the belly. Revelation 10, 11, sabi, kahit na nagkaramali tayo ng yung Millerites ng prediction ng second coming ng 1844, sa so verse 11, Revelation 10, 11, but ye must prophesy again to all nations. Ibig sin mangaral ka ulit na magsi-second coming to all nations. Kaya yun ang ginagawa natin. <clears throat> then prophesy according to your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is to giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, be, do it diligently. For it is to show mercy to do cheerfully. Philippians 3.8 Sabi, Ye doubtless, <clears throat> and I count all things but loss. Lahat ng bagay, walang kwenta. For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. Hindi nyo ba nalalaman? Yung mga sila, Martin Luther, sila, John Huss, sila, Swingley, sila, Calvin, lahat yan mga persecute para lang malaman ang katotohanan. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi napaka-importante ng maintindihan ang kaligtasan. Mas mahagal na pa kaysa buhay, kayamanan, pamilya, etc., etc. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung. Yung dung parang yung dumi ng baka o ng kalabaw. Lahat daw ng bagay, ari-ari ang posisyon, influence, <clears throat> that I may win Christ. 1 John 2.6 For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is the world, is of the world. Yung pagmamalaki, pagandahan ng cellphone, pagandahan ng laptop, pagandahan ng sakin, pagandahan ng lamit, etc., etc. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, papugian, pagandahan, <clears throat> is not of the Father, but of the world. That's why we should be modest okay, in our uh, in our life. Ano naman yung new creation? Parang malapit na mag-time. Galatians 5, 2-4 Behold, I, Paul, I say unto you that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised 
that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Yung mga nag-circumcise, sumunod kayo. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whoever you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Okay, Matthew 23, 27. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. Mga nag-circumcise naman yan. Pinagmamalaki nila na maganda ang damit nila, sumunod sila sa circumcision. Pero ang sabi ni Paul, ye are like para kayong mga kabaong na maputi. Ye are in beautiful outside, but you are dead, full of dead men's bones inside. Yeah. Kaya, huwag <clears throat> tayo magmayabang. Ang pinakamahalaga kung ano ang relasyon natin sa Diyos. For in Christ, Galatians 6.15, For in Christ, neither circumcision, abelet natin, nor circumcision, but a new creation. Create your Dapat magbago ang ating mga puso. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Hebrews 4.13 Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto eyes of him whom he have, we have to do. Lahat ng bagay nakikita ng Diyos. Kaya wala tayong may tatago. Kahit na ang tingin sa atin ng mga tao ay ganyan-ganyan, maganda ang tingin nila, ang nasa puso natin, kita ng Diyos. For we, have, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain until now. <laughs> Maraming mga problema. John 3, 5 to 8. Jesus answered, The really very answer to you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot be... So, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, yung new creation. Baptism, yung mga hindi pa sa inyo na bibinyagan, Gusto niyo maging new creature in Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Tanungin niyo yung ating pastor kung papaano maging new creature. At pag nabinyagan kayo in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Ghost, the three most powerful in the whole universe, <clears throat> magbabago ang inyong buhay. He cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven ang hindi mabinyagan. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. <clears throat> and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell where it come from, and where it goes. <clears throat> so is one that is born of the Spirit. Okay, ano naman new final remarks ni Paul? Galatians 6, 16-18 And as many as walk according to this rule, be peace be upon them. May blessing ang pagsunod, and mercy, mapapatawad ang mga kasalanan, and upon the, upon the Israel of God. From thenceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Ayan pa, Galatians 6.14 But God forbid that I should go receive in the cross. Okay, same. Second Corinthians 4.10 Always bearing about in my body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Second Corinthians 11.23 And they mean, are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. Sabi ni Pablo, nagmamalaki ba sila? <clears throat> ako, maraming beses akong kinulong. Maraming akong beses nang untik mamatay. Limang beses akong pinagpapalo. Uh, stripes. Tatlong beses akong pinagpapalo ng tungkod. Isang beses akong binato. Tatlong beses akong nagiba yung aking barko. At saka isang dagabi at saka isang araw akong nasa dagat. Sa aking mga paglalakbay. Sa tubig. Uh, nakawan kami, hinold up kami tapos ng mga kung sino-sinong tao perils in the wilderness, perils in the sea perils among false brethren ang dami-dami ng kapaguran at saka sakit, sakit in watchings often in hunger and thirst, fasting and cold nakedness beside those things that are without in which come to, unto me daily there are the care of all the churches who is weak, am I not weak, who is offended I'm not Abi, ang dami-dami ko ng Marks, yun daw yung marks ng service. The marks of the Lord Jesus, Paul daw, doubtless refers to the scars left on his body by persecution and hardship. <clears throat> his opponents now insisting of compelling the gentle to accept the mark of circumcision. So yung mga mark ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay, yung ating mga pagdaanan para sa servisyo ng ating Panginoon. Yan ang sabi sa Bible Commentary. Okay, sabi dito, the cross of Calvary challenges and will finally banquish every earthly and hellish power. In the cross, all influence centers and from it all influence goes forth. It is the great center of attraction for in Christ 
gave for in it. Christ gave up his life for the human race. The sacrifice, yan po ang sinasabi. Wala talaga tayo na ipagmalaki. Lahat ng bagay ay nandun nakasentro sa cross ni Jesus Christ. Sa sacrifice ni Jesus Christ. Lahat ng nandito sa mundo, lahat ng kahirapan, wala. Lahat ng kayamanan, wala. Lahat ng ating ginawa, walang binatbat sa sacrifice na binigay ni Jesus Christ sa atin. Kasi itong 70 years na buhay na ito, ano naman yung kukumpir nito sa unlimited na buhay. So yun po ang ating lesson. Marami pa yata dito sa ilalim. Pero dahil lampas na tayo sa oras, ayan, huwag tayong magbo-boast pag kahit na tayong nagtitestimony. Bakit minsan mas marami pa yung pinakwento natin tungkol sa ating sarili kung imbis na kung tungkol sa ginawa ng Diyos para sa atin. Kaya ba nating baguhin ang sa ating sarili? Can you parts change their spot? Hindi. Ang Diyos naman ang nagbago sa atin. Ayan po. So, anong gagawin natin? Oh, whatever I gain, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ my Lord Jesus Christ. For His sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order to gain Christ. So, isummarize natin ulit ang ating lesson sa isang verse. Ito ay dalawang verse. We should not boast except for the cross of Christ Jesus. And let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, but let neither let the mighty man glory in his might, nor rich man, but know it, but let him glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me that I am the Lord which exerciseth love and kindness. Ang Diyos lang talaga ang mahalaga. Yun lang po. So, maybe we have time for uh, some questions. Tanungin nyo na po si Ma'am Leslie dyan. Bakit maraming namamatay? Bakit namamatay yung mga baby? Kung alam naman ng Diyos ang mangyayari, bakit pinapayagan niya ang kasalanan? Yung mga ganun na tanong. Uh, ano pang mga tanong? Kailan darating si Jesus Christ? Anong mangyayari sa dulo ng mundo? Papaano manalangin? Papaano maligtas? Uh, papaano magligtas ang pamilya? Etc. 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 So, tayo po ang mag-pray. Father in heaven, we praise you Lord for the lesson. We praise you for the Bible. We praise you for the Sabbath school lesson. For the time to study in this school, the Sabbath school. We praise you for the Holy Spirit for guiding and leading the people who wrote the Sabbath school lesson so that we may understand more deeply the writings in the, for the Galatians. Thank you Lord for the students and their interest to study in this school, for the teachers, for the church organization. Uh, we ask you that you please develop our talents and interest for your glory only. Thank you for hearing our prayers and for forgiving us from all our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.